Or are you guys a part of? Is your dad a part of that Iron Claw, the movie with uh, Zac Efron? Is anybody a part of that in, as far as the family? Um, no, no, yeah, they're, uh, yeah, they're, they're, they're making the movie. My dad is a public figure, so I, so I'm, they're making the, the movie, but, uh, the, the director, I believe has been, he's been, um, he's been contacting my dad and they've been talking and stuff. And he's, um, apparently he's a, he's a lifelong fan and he loves my dad and he wants to tell the story. Right. And so we're just, we're, 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 we're hoping for the best. They seem like really good people and stuff. And so, um, we'll see, you never know with, with movies. I, I, with, for me, my dad was just like my brother was saying. He's 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 so different, you know. People that know him, that really know him, he's uh, you, you'll probably never meet anybody like him. If some people that don't know him would assume that he's this good-looking, pretty boy Hollywood guy, but he wasn't at all. My dad, my dad uh, is the opposite of a pretty boy. He doesn't try at all to be good-looking. He literally, if if a hair if hairs in his eyes, will grab it and cut it out of his face. And he, he's he doesn't he didn't care about the way he looks at all. And and he came off of this, you know, rugged Tarzan guy, and I, I just, I think if it's told right, it's going to be a really, really great movie. And I mean, it could be so many things. It could be a love story. Of course, it can be sad, you know, because with the deaths and the brothers. But if you look at my dad, it's, it's not a sad story. After he will tell you, it's, uh, I mean, because he, he told us death can do two things to a man. It can, it can harden you towards the world and make you hate everything, or it can, it, it can break you down and make you compassionate towards those who suffer. And my dad is one of the most compassionate men that I've ever met with my children, with all the nieces and nephews, with us. If uh, it's he's I think when when you live in that warrior mentality for so many years, because he was rugged, you know, he would lay it into other wrestlers. He would he would um, he'd kind of take the deaths of his brothers out on, on in his matches on. He was and, and it was rough back then, you know, you yeah. had enemies in different territories and stuff. He had a lot of enemies. There's a rage inside of him. He's losing hold of the promotion. Losing yeah, he his had brothers. no one left, you know. He had no one left. He felt alone. And it's, it just makes us love our dad more and more what he went through. And not once when he came home, we had no idea things were bad, man. He would he would, he would, would just be dad. He would, he would love on us, be at every football practice, at every recital from, from my sisters, he, everything that he had to do, he uh, father wise he was there for and not once did he complain and i i i hope i'm the half the man my dad my dad my dad i hope the kind of father that he is you know and so it's i think this movie's told right it will impact a lot of people i know that in our newspaper over here they wrote a story about him and um a few a few uh, a few of these uh people were yeah, really impacted by it there's a homeless guy that me and him talked to that uh stopped drinking just from reading the story and so i was like that's just a glimpse of shoot, man. If, if this thing's told right, it could impact a lot of people. That there's light at the end of the tunnel. Yeah, that, that, that's the ultimate gift for someone to hear a story and glean something from it that will benefit them or people around them. That's mission accomplished. Yeah, they, they see said it was it would be all worthless if, if that's not what the story did, you know.